Okay, we're going to find the x-intercepts of this parabola, y is equal to x squared plus 4. So remember, whenever we want to find the x-intercepts, what do we do? We first let y to be 0, and then solve for x, right? And now let's just do the work. Put down 0 for the y, and this is equal to x squared plus 4, like this. And now, how can we solve this equation? The right-hand side doesn't have three terms. And you see, this is actually the sum of two squares. It's not factorable. And the worst part is that, in fact, it doesn't have any real solutions. And to see that, you can just do the usual procedure. You can minus 4 on both sides, so they cancel. And then we will have the negative 4, and that's equal to x squared right here, right? And the trouble now is, when we have x to the second power, we cannot get negative 4. And if you really want to continue the procedure, if you take the square root on both sides, and then you put a plus minus. But when you take the square root of a negative number, well, we don't have any real value for that. And when we are talking about the x-intercepts, we usually talk about the graphing of the parabolas, right? So there's no way to graph this kind of thing. So in fact, this has no solutions, right? No real value solutions. So uh, we don't have any x-intercepts. So I'll just write this down. No x-intercepts, OK? So this right here will be the answer, because we tried to solve it, and there was no real value for that. And just to show you guys real quick, if you want to make a graph for that, and you already see why it doesn't have any um, x-intercepts. When you want to graph y is equal to x squared plus 4, notice that there's no b at all, right? And in fact, if you just recall, the graph of x squared is the standard one. And when you add only a number 4 to it, you bring the graph 4 times up. But anyway, I'll put on a real quick table for you guys. So here are the x values, and these are the y values. And in this case, because there's no x, the coefficient of x is 0, the b value is 0, so you know you start with 0, and then you put down the neighbor numbers, negative 1, 1, negative 2, and 2. Okay? And then you can just do this real quick. If you plug in 0 into this x, you get 0 squared plus 4, you get 4. And if you plug in 1 into this, you get 1 squared plus 4, which is 5. right? And then I should use a parentheses like this. And if you plug in 2 into here, you get 2 squared plus 4 is, no, this is 4, plus 4 is 8. And likewise, you can do the same right here. Plug in negative 1 into the x, and then this is 1, right? Negative 1 squared is 1, plus 4 is 5. And lastly, you do the same. Negative 2 squared plus 4. This will give you 4, plus another 4, you get 8. And in fact, this and this, well, they have to be the same. So you, you know the answer already, already. And I get 0 because, once again, I plug in 0 into here. 0 squared plus 4 is nicely equal to 4. OK, so yeah. Anyway, as you can see from the graph that I'm about to make for you guys, let's say we have um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then 1, 2, 1, 2 on the left and on the right. So this is negative 1. So. First point, 0, 4 is right here. Negative 1, 5, and 1, 5, right? And then negative 2, 8, 2, 8. So we have this right here and this right here. And as I told you, you just have a graph that's opened up, and it was above the x-axis already, and the graph will never go down, right? We will never go back down. So it has no x-intercept because this curve never crossed the x-axis. So you can do it with the graph, we can do it with the equation. Okay, so this is how you do it. In my opinion, this right here is what you need to know because it's quicker, right? Anyway, that's it.